Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the IKEA Drawfast. So this is what I've got in the packaging today. Uh, we'll quickly unbox this and we'll see what all we've got in here and then get started with the assembly process. All right, so this is what we've got in the packaging. These are the different attachments. Uh, then we also have a set of screws with some other attachments in this in this packet. And right here are the different boxes that will basically slide into the frame. And this right here is the most important document which has the assembly instructions and uh, the different types of screws that you need to use. So I'll be referring to this as well. All right, so let's first take out all the screws so that we have them handy and uh, we can get them quickly into the assembly process. So I've taken all of the screws out ensure that you don't misplace anything otherwise it will be a problem in getting similar ones so all right so as per the manual the first step is to get these brackets installed and for that we're going to use the smaller screws which are 20 in number and i'm also going to use my screwdriver which will make the process a bit easy so let's get this done So this thing has two notches on uh, both the sides and a hole in the center. So you'll basically have to match it with the holes on the frame. Yeah. So this is how it looks and here you need to place the screw and push it in. And then we'll do the same for the other brackets. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video here and I will uh, basically place all the brackets on this frame and also on the other frame which is kept over there. Alright, so I'm done with the first panel. Now I'll do the same for the other one and uh, then we'll attach both the frames together. Alright, so now we are done with the first step and we've got these brackets installed on both the frames. And now the second step is to attach these two panels uh, and then get to the main assembly. So let's get that started. So uh, first we'll get the base section ready and now as per this manual what I'm going to do here is place these three plugs. and then we'll be placing this on top. So if you notice, this also has uh, holes at the bottom. So you need to match these with the main frame. All right, so that one section is done. Now we'll get to the other side. On this side, you need to push this in on the far edge. It's not in the center, it's towards the edge of the board. Right, so those three are in. And now we'll get the smaller section. All right, so now that we've got these two panels up, uh, it's time to attach these smaller ones. So let's quickly do that. And out of these four, uh, two are of different types. So if you notice, two have these holes at the side and two of them do not have any holes. So we will be using the ones which do not have any holes uh, on the side over here and the other ones will go towards uh, the bottom. So yeah. So 
so this one on the uh, this one that has holes on the side will go towards the bottom and the holes will be exposed on on this side basically all right so this is how it looks now that is the other end and this one is uh, the bottom end so yeah now we will attach uh, the other part as well on top of this so here as well uh, you would need to place these plugs so I've got one on this side and we'll place one on the other side as well all right so this is how the entire thing looks now and we are left with the very last bit which is to uh, push the screws in here and on the other side as well so let's quickly do that Now I'm going to flip this over and then we will push uh, three screws on the other side as well. So now we've got this plastic thing that needs to be placed at the bottom so this will go in here alright so now we are done with the complete assembly of the frame and now we can place the boxes in so let me get this straightened up and then we'll place the boxes inside this Alright, so I've placed the shelf in a corner now and we are left with the last but very important step uh, which is to ensure that this thing does not tip over when your kids are trying to access items out of it. And uh, if you check the IKEA manual as well, they have clearly mentioned that there is a tipping hazard associated with it. And to prevent that, you get two of these brackets along with the washer and screw and you need to install this one on the right hand side the right top hand side and one on the left hand side so the way we need to do it is uh, if you notice i've already made a hole against the wall on the right side and also on the left side so we need to place this bracket here and then uh, place a screw along with the washer in this hole and the other hole as well so this will this way we can ensure that uh, the the storage box stays in place so we'll do that on the right side and also on the left side so here as well you get another bracket so you need to place it in this way all right so the first thing that i'm going to do is put this wood plug inside the hole and now we are going to place the bracket along with the screw and the washer all right so let's tighten this up okay the uh, the thing towards the wall is tightened now we need to do the same over here So I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. Uh, I'll place the bracket here along with the spacer and the screws and that should make this shelf tight and secure. So guys, this is an important step. Uh, the last step is very important to ensure that uh, this storage box stays in place and it does not tip over when your kids are trying to access items out of it. So ensure that you do not skip this step at all. So I'll pause this video here and get that thing done and I'll also uh, place the boxes in the shelf and we can see how the final thing looks. 
So this is how the product looks works once it's completely assembled and you can see that it's pretty easy to take out items out of it and one advice that I have here is to have the heavier items at the bottom. Uh, this is for good weight distribution and you can place the lighter items on top. So that's it for this one guys. Uh, if you have any questions about this assembly process, you can post them in the comment section below and uh, I will answer them as soon as possible. So thank you for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel.